Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Saglitch, aka Sag. Today, I'm bringing you some domination gameplay on Riot. It's been a while actually uh, since I played Call of Duty, probably about a week now. But uh, anyway, I uh, figured I'd bring you some more stories, and this is actually going to take place. Um, uh, two stories are going to take place when I was in high school, very, I think, a freshman in high school, maybe sophomore. Uh, but also, it's going. the first story is going to take place actually two three weeks ago now um my my father and mother-in-law they like to go camping a lot and uh they were actually out for the weekend at uh out of town uh just for the day and they needed us to stop by their house to let their dog out um so as you guys all know i have a dog as well uh named goober you guys probably heard her in a couple of videos but um so we decided to let her go over and play with their dog and uh, be outside for a little while. And after about 30 minutes after they used the bathroom and whatnot, we get um, our dog ready to leave. Um, we're driving out of the community and there's a couple of houses, a couple of uh, neighbors there that have some kids. Well as we, it's a, it's a circle community, so as we're driving around we, come, we pull in one way and we continue that circle all the way around. Um, just to, just to not have to turn around or whatever. So as we're pulling around the community, we loop around, we see these kids playing on the sidewalk. We're always super extra careful to go slow in the community because, you know, I don't want to be involved with anything of hitting a kid or whatever, even though sometimes I feel like they need to be hit. I'm not going to be that kind of person. So as we hit the second turn to complete the circle, my wife's looking out um, to the right in the passenger seat. So she's looking towards the houses on the right side. And she goes, oh, God. Oh, God. And I turn and look. And I'm like, oh, God, what happened? You know, I'm scared. I don't know what's going on. And she starts laughing. So I'm just thinking maybe she saw something funny or whatever. And uh, so I ask, I ask what happened. And so she turns to me and she goes, that house right there. The kid was just, there was a kid standing there. I was like, yeah, so what, what's so, like, what's the problem? She goes, he was naked! He was naked! <laughs> and so I'm laughing. I'm like, well, how old is the kid? You know, thinking it was a young child not knowing any better. And the kid's like 11 or 12, like, in, in that range, right, right as you're hitting puberty. To, like, but still, the thing is, the kids know. They, they know better, right? Like, kids know better, right? And it's not just that. I told the wife, my wife, I was like, well, <laughs> you know, maybe he's waiting for a couple of the girls to drop by. And he's like, hey, you know, look at me. And uh, and then another thing popped in my head where he's a superhero. And he's like Batman revealing the curtains. He's like, hey, <laughs> new boy. And so my wife's just sitting there. So I wanted to go back. Not because I want to see a naked kid. I just want to see this for myself because... It's not as funny when you don't get to experience the same thing, but at the same time, like you can, it only goes through your head what's happening. So that's what you get for visiting the in-laws. Like no matter what, you guys always have to be on the lookout. Something crazy, something intense, something whatever. Something's bound to happen. Like whether you're out at just in most random times, and this is one thing for it. All right. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little quick, like, humorous thing for me, but I told my co-worker, actually my, uh, the dad of my goddaughter, and he was just crying laughing at how funny it was, and so I figured I know a new superhero, you know, maybe he's joining the Justice League or whatever, not the Avengers, because we know that no one else can get in that group, so, with that being said, though, that was just really awkward and funny for me, um, Next up, talking about my first experiences in quote, quote unquote, online gaming. And this, if you guys know, uh, this was probably in, let's see, showing my age a little bit, but in 2004, 2005, and this was before the whole online gaming really took off. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, before the whole internet thing happened or whatever, yeah, there was internet. But it wasn't, the gaming industry hadn't come what it is now yet. So we had what was called LAN parties. And with this being said, you can you can join up to four Xboxes in one sitting. Which meant you can have up to four people per TV 
and up to four Xboxes, meaning there's 16 people that could be involved. But with us, we didn't have the size TVs that um, could happen on, so uh, we mostly stick to two for the big TVs, one for the small TVs. So we had roughly about eight people playing at one time, and you had to pick and choose your teammates. And we're at my cousin's house. It was all seniors when I was a freshman or sophomore. I can't remember exactly when, and uh, in high school. And so we're sitting there, and I lucked out and was able to play by myself in the kitchen because we had two TVs set up in the living room back to back. We had one TV set up in the um, in the bedroom and one TV set up in the kitchen. So I had the kitchen all by myself, and we're sitting there playing whatever. You know, we're playing Halo, the original Halo, the one that set it all off. So we're sitting there playing that, and we're hanging out, whatever. And after a couple hours in, we take a break. We're all in the kitchen, and I'm sitting in this old chair. Well, I sit back down awkwardly on it after getting up and getting some pizza, and I just fall through the chair. Like... Yeah, I'm a big guy, but this isn't one of those occasions where I'm just too fat to sit on it. It's one of those, I just fell right through the chair like it was like, oh! And so, of course, I'm the idiot of the group looking, everybody's looking at me like I'm like some fat, like, lard person. But in all seriousness, it was just the chair that was just, like, too old and it just fell right through, hit my head on the cabinets. And so, after that, I could blame my poor play on basically having concussion because I hit the floor hard after that. Uh, and so, uh, you guys, it hasn't always been what it is today. Uh, the online community, gaming, both PC and consoles, has become a lot larger than what it has been in the past. And so, just want you guys to understand that and want you to under share with me my experience for the first time ever we were at his grandma's house and it was basically like eight or ten guys like hanging out this back in you know when we weren't doing anything bad we were just hanging out watching some movies or whatever so uh yeah had a fun time there that was my first experience overall and LAN if you guys is like a locally connected play thing and if you guys haven't done it yet or if you guys haven't been to any of these tournaments that are hosted in these bigger towns um, definitely check it out because the struggle is real sometimes online so uh, it was a lot easier to get connected with the four of us we had cords running throughout the house like people tripping over everything and so it was, it was a lot of fun but you know it had to happen and we got it finished so uh, that was my first experience playing online multiplayer I guess you'd call it it's not really online but whatever and uh, next up also happened at my cousin's grandma's house. Uh, he had a farm. She had the um, woman who owned it had a farm right next door. And so one night we thought it'd be cool. This is back when uh, the Splinter Cell first came out, and uh, one of the guys on it had the uh, had the night vision goggles. So we decided to take our little fun out to the uh, cow pasture, and we didn't. What we didn't realize is we thought there were just cows. And I've been cow tipping before, guys. It's, it's super hard, super tough, but the fact is, it's not scary because the cows are just, they're overweight and they're just hard to turn over. But what we didn't know is that this guy had a bull in the pasture as well, and it wasn't pinned off from all the other cattle. And so, my cousin gets in, and he's just, we're all messing with him, all of a sudden we hear this bull, and, or well, we hear this noise, and so we click the flashlight because it was, it was coming at a quick pace and we put our flashlights on and there's a bull heading straight for us when we're against this cow trying to tip it over and we're we like freak out so we get we all run to the side we jump over the little fence area and we're just sitting there with the light shined on it with half of us in the front half of us on the side and uh, one of our friends in the group says hey you know what I'm gonna put this bull in the ass and we're like, dude, you can't do that. Uh, it's dangerous. He goes, no, 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 no. I want to do it. And so we're sitting there, we're like, yeah, you can do it. You know, a bunch of teenage guys, we didn't know any better. Uh, so we're like, all right, yeah, yeah, go ahead, whatever. And uh, so he hops the fence. And the bull's uh, staring at us, which we were in front. And this guy's on the side. He hops the fence. And the minute this bull snapped his head from the spotlight we had on to the guy. 
and the guy didn't have any night. The guy didn't have the night vision goggles or anything like that. And he didn't know really what was going on, other than the bull looking him down from ten feet away. He's like, "I got this," and so he takes a step forward, and the bull's still staring straight at him. The bull turns, rotates, and looks at him again. He goes, "Um, might not have this." <laughs> and so he's like, "But I'm not going. I'm not going to be a little girl about it." So what we did is distract the bull. We had another guy hop over, and the guy and the bull was kind of turned at 45 degree angle between the both of them. And the guy takes a step towards him and starts making all this noise. And the bull, like, turns to him. And so our friend had a little bit of baby powder on him. This is back when you know getting slapped with baby powder was funny. He just runs and takes off at it and slaps it right in the butt, and it, like right on the side. And there's a huge handprint left and he's screaming as he runs because the bull takes off after him and he does basically like a circle if you guys ever watch uh any zombie gameplays is where you circle them all up but luckily for him he hops the fence without anything else and the bull turns his attention to the guy who distracted him who was close enough to the fence where it didn't really matter but yeah had some idiot friends and uh they were able to slap a bull's butt and uh but uh, it, no, no harm was done to these animals. It was just all in good, stupid fun. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed these stories. Leave a like if you did. Comment if you want to subscribe if you haven't. Also, check in the description below for the previous episodes of Embarrassing Stories, as well as my Twitter to where you can contact me and communicate with me. I don't hesitate to. I don't bite. And also my channel as well to where you can see all the other videos I've ever made. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.